Good morning. This is my Romo Sense 8 Plus power bank, which I talked about before. I've had this for about two years, and then recently it just stopped working. So I decided to open it up and see what's up. So I've already opened it up, and I suppose that was the hard part. I used a screwdriver to pry it open. And as you can see here, it's actually a pretty good power bank. It's using lithium polymer batteries instead of the typical 18650 batteries. So the battery seems to be okay. So it has 3.3 volts. So I think it's still working fine. So I suspect the problem here is the the board itself. I don't have the capability to fix it, so what I'll do is replace the whole thing. So here's the board up close. And here it is with the board I found online. So size-wise, they seem to match up pretty well. And you have screw holes here, screw holes here, same. Then you have a screw hole here, another one here. And then the ports, of course, match up. Then the LEDs match up. So I think this should be a straightforward replacement. I'll just solder on the battery and then mount it up. So we have a bit of a problem here because the board doesn't have mounting holes for this widget here. It's for channeling the light of the LEDs. So I'll probably cut off the tabs. Uh, so the LEDs line up, but there's another LED that's on the way, so we need to adjust this a little bit more. Okay, so it lines up now, but the problem is it's in the way of the battery pad. So I'll probably have to skip this thing. Let's thin the battery pads. Okay, let's see if it works. And it does. So time to mount this up and close the case. So I think I'll just modify this so that I can still mount it here. I cut a small relief here. And then it just about lets it go in there. So I'll just mount this with hot glue and then it should be ready to install. And that's it. Our power bank is back in business. Thank you for watching.